Anyone can pick up a random pile of bricks and create something unique, but it takes a true genius to push LEGO to the limit. Here are some of the most clever ways builders have used LEGO bricks. Sometimes when placing LEGO tile pieces, they're not completely straight, which can be quite frustrating, especially if you're a perfectionist. But luckily, Bevan's Bricks came up with a clever and easy technique to straighten one by one tiles by sliding a LEGO brick separator. It works perfectly and is quite satisfying too. The brick separator remains undefeated. But check out this absolutely brilliant build of a brown bear by Simon Hunsbickler. He used a minifigure hairpiece and a minifigure cloak hood piece for the bear's ears, which is super creative. Not to mention that creating a flowing river with Lego certainly isn't easy, but this design absolutely nails it. Now, this tiger gives Lego's official majestic tiger set a run for its money in multiple different ways. I especially love the use of these black horn pieces as the stripes. Likewise, this wolf build uses some feathers around the ears to create a nice level of detail. But Simon's clever building techniques are taken to the next level in this incredible build. At first, it may just look like a simple yet very detailed temple. However, the closer you look, the weirder it gets. Starting at the very top, check out the part attached to the gold ring. Yup, that's a minifigure hand. And what's surrounding it? Well, nothing less than sets of minifigure legs. But these aren't the only body parts hidden in this temple. As you look down, you'll notice several more minifigure legs, a few more hands, a minifigure shoulder guard piece, and wait, look who it is. It's the man, the myth, the legend, Boba Fett, disguised as foliage. While I absolutely love the creativity at play here, it's worth pointing out that several of these building techniques may actually be illegal. You won't find all of these in official Lego sets, that means. But don't worry, no one who uses these is going to Lego City Jail. When people talk about illegal building techniques, they mean anything that Lego has deemed unstable or potentially damaging to the bricks due to elevated stress on the pieces and imperfect connections. Removing hands and individual legs from a minifigure is considered a pretty big no-no in LEGO's official terms. It's why officially LEGO classifies a minifigure as only three parts, a head, torso, and legs. But of course these three parts are actually made up of seven plastic elements, a head, torso, two hands, a hip joint, and two legs. In fact, LEGO takes this so seriously that an official LEGO set confused many builders. Let me explain, and as I do, please take two seconds to click subscribe if you want to see more content like this. The Fab Five loft set showed off a really clever building technique on the box art using headless and handless minifigure torsos as clothes hanging on a rack. However, in the official instructions, the parts are all shown as having hands on them. Sure enough, in the box, every one of them has hands, and the instructions never tell you to remove them. So it's definitely a really clever idea held back by LEGO's own internal rules and design choices. On a similar topic, a user over on Reddit asked if this was an illegal technique, and it immediately caught my eye. Being able to only pick one head accessory for a minifigure has always been kind of a bummer, but this builder has somehow managed to squeeze some hair under the helmet. How? Well, you see, it's not a standard LEGO helmet. It's actually a long, outdated Technic helmet. You see, Technic figures were always much larger than a standard minifigure, so it makes sense that they'd also have larger helmets. But the fact that it fits so perfectly over a minifigure hairpiece is an amazing coincidence. As for whether or not it's illegal, there doesn't seem to be any official documentation on this specific combination of bricks, so I guess it's safe to assume that LEGO never even thought anyone would try it. Speaking of minifigures that make you say why, there's this cursed minifigure created by Gideon6 on Reddit. Turns out the hole in the center of a round macaroni Lego brick is exactly the same size as the peg on top of a minifigure torso. There's seemingly no end to just how far this can go, so try it out for yourself. Another rather bizarre design choice can be found in this slightly modified version of the upscaled minifigure set. Certainly a creepy yet fun alternative design. Should we give this character a name? Let me know in the comments. Now, have you ever felt that LEGO minifigures are a bit wimpy? Like, where's the muscles on this guy? Well, I've got some good news because some minifigures have been hitting the gym. Check out what Hachiroku24 put together. This might be the beefiest LEGO character I've ever seen and makes some extremely clever choices for parts. 
Specifically, I love the little clips for hands and the standard minifigure head placed in between this fig's massive shoulders. The scale of it is just hilarious. A true Lego Giga Chad. I wonder how much protein powder this guy goes through. However, one of the most impressive collections of genius Lego building techniques that I've come across might be this recreation of the scribe from the computer game Stronghold. Created by Big Stannis, this entire build is incredible. The use of minifigures as characters in the book adds a great sense of scale, and the construction of the book itself is just perfect. But the really amazing stuff here is actually up on the face. Zooming in a bit, I've got to mention the best feature here first. Take a look at his nose. Recognize the shape? Yeah, that's a chihuahua piece that's been flipped around. But that's not all that's hiding here. This guy seems like he's been working some long nights because the bags under his eyes are literally Lego bag pieces that have been turned upside down. Brilliant. Also, the cheeks are painter's palettes. You may have noticed that the cheeks aren't facing the same way, and well, that's because LEGO hasn't released the pieces in this color without a print on one side, and I guess they didn't want a bunch of paint on their face. I've also got to point out what appears to be a chicken leg for the bottom lip, but the single coolest part of this build is at the very bottom, those fingers. They're all LEGO battle droid heads. <laughs> I love it. Now, while building animals and people is well and good, some designers are more concerned with seeing just how far they can push the limits of LEGO as a medium. Have you ever tried to twist a LEGO brick? Well, the crew over at Brickbending have created some of the most outlandish builds that I've ever seen. Seriously, these guys use special techniques to create flexible brick structures that push LEGO well beyond the limits of what even the most seasoned builders think is possible. Now, to see what I mean, take a peek at this and tell me you're not impressed. Despite seeing how this build is constructed, I'm still convinced that it's some sort of witchcraft. A three brick tall structure simply shouldn't be able to do that, but the eyes don't lie. Sadly though, this build does put a tremendous amount of strain on the bricks, making it illegal, so you won't ever see this in official sets. However, not every brick bending design breaks the rules. In fact, this builder designed not one, but two massive LEGO wheels that anyone can build, provided that you have an insane number of these 4x8 half round plates. The design really couldn't be simpler, and they show you every single step in enough detail to pull it off yourself. The biggest trick is to not fully connect the plates together. You need to leave them a bit looser at the top to give them the proper curve. And while not fully connecting the bricks might seem like a very odd choice, the fact that all of these form a perfect circle in the end helps to bring everything together. Surprisingly, this thing is also very sturdy. It spins, rolls, and falls without a loose brick anywhere. This build is actually incredibly versatile and can be rearranged into countless different patterns. But what if you don't have enough plates? Or what if you're just looking for a smaller wheel? Well, you're in luck because brick bending also showed off a simpler build using the same half rounded plates and several one by one round studs. The idea is basically the same, but results in a smaller final build. But the coolest thing might just be this curved Lego helix. Made from hundreds of two by two plates and one by one round studs, this creation boggles the mind until you realize the genius way that it was built. You see, despite how it might look, this isn't a tower, but something more like a string. By assembling all of these parts into a single string of LEGO, it's possible to arrange them into a truly dizzying array of shapes. So the original helix that we saw can actually be thought of more of a staircase slowly winding down. Now, the fine folks behind Swooshable have posted thousands of unique tips and tricks to help builders find the perfect shape, and some of them are absolutely genius. For example, this little construction makes very clever use of the fact that the hinge is as thick as a standard rod. Since the studs on the hinges are hollow, this means that it's possible to use four hinges to create this fun little bit. I've never seen this before, and my mind is already racing with ideas of how I could use it for something. It's incredibly useful for any build that's trying to use a studs not on top or snot technique, while also providing a huge degree of flexibility. Here's another genius technique that these guys have put out there aimed at getting studs off the top of your builds. All you need are a few plates and a few clips. In this video, they use two 1x3s, but you could do anything that your build calls for. The next step is to simply attach the clips to the tile, and then you need to slip another clip into the first one. But this is actually kind of a major problem. The illegal techniques mentioned earlier are pretty unlikely to damage your pieces. I mean, removing legs and hands from a minifigure can cause damage if done enough times, but it's generally fine. LEGO just doesn't like you doing it. 
However, this clip-to-clip -clip technique is much more dangerous, as LEGO clips are some of the most notoriously brittle pieces out there, and so clipping two of them together like this could be a serious mistake if you're not careful. It could snap. But luckily, there are many more genius LEGO techniques for you to explore in this video that I made. So click here to see them, and don't forget to subscribe right now so you don't miss my next video.